Hello and welcome to Just One More Watch. Welcome to the first of several giveaways that I've got coming up on the channel over the next few weeks. Today it is the review slash giveaway of not one, but two Signum Cudas in full titanium with full loomed dials. If Signum the brand is familiar to you, perhaps you've seen me review their watches before. I've looked at a couple of them over the last 18 months or so. They're owned by Kyle, the brand owner of Stratton Watches, another brand you may well have seen on this channel before. The whole idea behind Signum is to offer colorful everyday dive watches at affordable prices, and having a second brand allows Kyle to do things he would never do with Stratton. For example, he sells these Signums with abalone dials, Labrador, Right dials, meteorite dials, sandstone dials, opal dials, and in this case, dials with insane amounts of loom pumped into them. Today, I'm going to have a quick look at the updated CUDA range, the CUDA Mark II in grade 2 titanium, with three different color versions of dials that are just mad when you turn the lights out. Now, you saw the pop up. Free stuff equals sponsored video. Kyle sent me three of these Kudas. I'm gonna keep one for a future installment of Loom Wars, and I'm gonna give the other two away with his permission. Now, this is a giveaway, which means the scammers will be on high alert. I have put filters in place which are doing a good job of intercepting their messages, but please don't get scammed. I will not be replying to any comments other than the two winners. I will not ask you to WhatsApp me or Telegram me, and I will never, ever ask you for money. So don't get scammed. What do you have to do to win one of these and are they worth winning in the first place? Let's flip the camera and find out. So what are we looking at today then? Well, we'll start by very briefly looking at the packaging. And it's just as well we're only looking at it briefly because it's pretty basic if I'm being honest. A plain black box with a stylized Signum Silver S on it and quite possibly the world's smallest instruction manual. But then, as you know how I feel about instruction manuals, I'm not gonna complain about that too much. I'm also not gonna complain about the two-year warranty that comes with all watches. And like I said in the intro, these are colorful, relatively affordable at 350 US dollars each. Seiko powered everyday watches that are fairly substantial on paper, but because they're made of titanium, they're actually quite light on wrist. There are three different dial variants, all full loom dials, of course. The one on the left, Kyle calls blue loom, which appears white during the day. The one in the middle, Kyle calls orange, I would also call it orange. It's definitely orange. It's one of the most orange oranges I have ever seen. Oddly enough, that glows orange at night, as you'll see soon enough. And the one on the right they call green loom. It has that almost yellowish hue to it during the day, but a more noticeable pale green color after dark. There are a couple of different bezel combinations available with each of the dials. All of them are available with either blue or black ceramic bezel inserts, either plain like the orange one in the middle there, or with that shark's tooth pattern on the hours, like the watches on the left and the right of the shop. It's obviously up to you, but I think the shark's tooth look looks pretty good on these. It brings something different to the design overall, and I think suits the whole fun, colorful ethos of these watches. Now, dimensions are the same across all models. The case is made of grade two titanium, which has been coated to help prevent scratches long-term. The bracelet is also made of grade to titanium, but it has not been coated. The bracelet has solid end links, solid links, sizable screws in the links, and it's quick release if you do want to pop this on leather or a rubber strap. The case is 42.5 mil in diameter with a thickness of 13.4 mil. I think that's perfectly fine for this style of watch. Lug to lug scrapes in at just under 50 mil, and I do mean scrapes in at just under 50 mil. It has a 22 millimeter lug width. The bracelet tapers from 22 down to 20, back up to 22 at the clasp. And sized up for me in my seven inch wrist, one of these weighs in at 144 grams, a weight you would normally associate more with a 40 mil watch rather than a 42 and a half. The benefits of using titanium. Double dome sapphire covers the dial and all watches have 200 meters of water resistance screw down crown. They're all powered by the Seiko NH35 with a date down there at six o'clock keeping things nice and symmetrical. Two year warranty as mentioned, which is or at least should be the industry standard and the launch price until the end of the month is $349 regardless of which variant you go for. Now that will go up to $399 next month, but I did spot a text message sign up pop up offering 10% off, which brings it back down to $360 again. I think that's pretty good value for a titanium watch with these specifications in 2022, and one that importantly you can actually go online and buy today if you want to. 
Case finish on these is very simple, titanium watches, not always, but mostly tend to be very, very simple. It's just brushed throughout. And as discussed, there's a coating on the case, but not on the bracelet. There is a slight chamfer on the case as it approaches the lugs, but they, they haven't polished it or anything. They've kept the finish natural looking, hence that slightly dull gray color. The unguarded crown is nicely sized and nicely grippy, and the watch overall has a, a nice, clean, simple look to it. All indices are applied, oblongs at the three and nine, and an unusual six-sided Superman shield at the 12. There's a small frame around that date complication and high poly silver to match the surrounds to the indices as well. It's a large and legible sword handset in an intentionally rough brushed silver finish. They're segmented as well, which you can see both during the day and after dark. And it's a fairly slender paddle style second hand. Again, they've even managed to segment the paddle. Signum branding is understated Kyle doesn't tend to overbrand his watches anyway, and you don't really need to slap stickers all over the dial when they're this color, do you? Automatic and 200 meters are printed above the date complication, and there's a minute track on a slightly angled chapter ring around the outer edges of the dial. The bezel insert is ceramic, and as noted, I think it's another good choice. They're using a matte style of ceramic. Gloss just wouldn't have worked with all that dull gray titanium at all, I don't think. Now the case back, I'm not sure if that's stainless steel or titanium. As you can see from that etched spec sheet, there is an acknowledgement of the use of both materials. There is some stainless in the bracelet, as I'll discuss in just a minute or two. And in the middle, loud and proud there, is that stylized barracuda that gives this watch its name. Now the bracelet is actually really nice to look at despite the lack of coating. The links are small and have a nice beveled edge to them, but the screws are big and were very easy to remove. Believe me, there is nothing worse than a titanium bracelet with tiny titanium screws in it. That is just asking for trouble. Now the clasp on this one is not titanium. It is made of 316L stainless steel, pressed upper, milled lower, security fold over and double pushers with five holes of micro adjust. Stainless steel clasps tend to wear better long term than titanium and having a bit of weight on the underside of your wrist isn't a bad thing with a 42 and a half mil dive style watch on the top of your wrist. I think overall these Kudas wear well. A watch this size, I tend to wear quite high and quite tight, but because it's titanium and weighs less than steel, this one would be no problem if you wanted to wear it a little lower and a little looser. 13.4mm thickness and that brightly coloured dial, I don't think these are necessarily discreet office style watches. I don't think that's what they're for. It's also not what I would describe as a cuff buster either though. But let's get to the money shot or rather the money shots the loom. The loom on these watches is just mental. All three of them, doesn't matter what color, all just as crazy as each other. For what it's worth, the yellow green one on the right, the C5 Super Luminova, looks like it's going to be the brightest. It's the one that you can see most during the day. It has the most pronounced effect when you move from outside to inside, the low light transition as it were, but they are all very, very good. Even the orange one, which is also C5, orange is hard to do properly, but this looks really good after dark. Now, when I turn the Speed up on these three, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, they're still all glowing very, very brightly. Even at the end of 20 minutes, which I always reckon is about four to five hours of human eye equivalent, you're not gonna have a problem reading any of these three, are you? But this is an isolation. How do they stack up against other watches? Well, let's take the white blue one with the BGW9 and compare it to the venerable benchmark, the Seiko SKX. It doesn't look like a fair fight from the very beginning, does it? And indeed, when I turn the speed up on these two, you can see that by the end of the 20 minutes, the Seiko has faded noticeably, the Signum not so much. But can it take on a Helm Vanuatu? Yes, indeed, with one eye on the aforementioned future episode of Loom Wars, I borrowed Mr. P's Vanuatu, a watch which takes a slightly different route when it comes to Loom, but doesn't disappoint. You can see I'm sure how much better the Loom is on the Vanuatu than it was on the SKX, but how does it compare to the Signum? Fast forward to the end of the first 20 minutes and both watches are still clearly visible. I had to add another 20 second shot on my camera to this one. By the time we get to the end of now 40 minutes, both watches are still clearly legible, but it seems clear who is going to take the win in this particular head to head. Let's add a third and final 20 minutes, taking it all the way to the end of one hour. Now I will slow it back down here. You can just about still see the hands on the helm. I think the helm is a very strong performer in its own right. 
but check out the Signum. The whole watch, the whole watch is still glowing really brightly. I don't think I've ever seen any Loom quite as good as this. Loom Wars episode 11 coming up soon. The smart money is on the Signum. So let's do a couple of quick moans and niggles before I get to the giveaway component. Packaging, like I said, very, very ordinary. I know it's not about the packaging, but this is one box you will happily put in a cupboard and forget about entirely. And the bracelet, I'm not sure why they didn't coat it because surely that's the bit that will scratch more than the head of the watch. Plus the tolerances of those links aren't great. You can see here as I move it around looking down, you can see the pins holding the whole thing together. This is not however the first titanium bracelet that I have leveled exactly this complaint at. And let's be brutally honest, the design doesn't grab you by the throat does it? It's all very straightforward, all Dive Watch 101. But I guess the whole point here is that the dials do the talking and not the multifaceted indices and chamfered case edges because it doesn't have either of those things. So how do you win one of these two then? I'm going to give away the orange dial and the yellow green dial and keep the white one for that Loom Wars episode. Well, I never make it too hard for you, do I? It's a subscriber giveaway, so if for some bizarre unknown reason you're not already a subscriber of the channel, now is a pretty good time to hit the big button that says subscribe on it. Then head over to justonemorewatch.com, I'll leave a link in the description. If you haven't already done so, drop me your email address and your full name. Once you've done that, head over to the Signum website Again, I'll leave a link and give Kyle your email address. He'll sign you up for the newsletter with information about his latest products and discounts for insiders. If you have already given Kyle and I your email for previous Signum giveaways, then don't worry about it. You've already ticked that particular box. When you're done, come back to this video, leave me a comment, any comment you like. I will pick one comment at random on Thursday the 21st of July. I will pin that comment, I will tell you you've won the competition and to get in touch with me by email. Once the first winner and I have exchanged details, I will then pick a second winner at random on Friday the 22nd of July, pin that comment and so on and so on. If you haven't heard from me by Sunday the 23rd, unfortunately you haven't won, but better luck next time. Like I said, there are plenty more giveaways on the channel coming soon. And like I said in the intro, don't fall for the scammers. I will never ask you to WhatsApp me, I will never ask you to telegram me and I will never ever ask you for a cent, let alone a dollar. And don't worry if you don't win one of these two, they're still on discount until the end of July. You get plenty of watch here for $349. If you haven't had quite enough of Signum watches in your life today already, why don't you check out one of these two previous reviews. Thanks for watching this one, good luck in the competition, I will see you all again in a future video.